We've been telling you about Fredonia's quest to land a reality show that would revitalize small businesses in the village. Our Lauren Hall checked in with some of the business owners today who are hoping for a chance to be on the show. Upper Crust Bakery on Main Street was one of 40 businesses that producers from Small Business Revolution visited in Fredonia last week. And if they're selected for the show, they could be one of six businesses to each receive an individual episode. It's been in business for 30 years. Um, we purchased it from the original owner in March, um, kept all the original recipes. Owners Katie and Chris Cardo made their case for their bakery and their town to the reality show. We told her, you know, what a tight knit community Fredonia is and just, just how great it would be for the community if, if um, they were granted that. Every episode, we're working with a new small business. So small right. business revolution would bring half a million dollars worth of resources to transform the village. Business leaders organized a huge rally to greet the representatives when they arrived last week to scope things out. It was um, an energy that um, that we've never seen before in the village. At the top of the Cardo's wish list, if Ferdonia wins and they land an episode? As we grow, it kind of seems like the walls are caving in on us in here. So any way that we could modify the layout to maximize the efficiency and seating would be a, a great benefit to us. But for now, all this community can do is wait for the producers to make their decision and possibly deliver a late Christmas present. I'm just really excited for Fredonia and everyone you can tell in the community is really excited about it also. The list gets narrowed down from the top 10 towns to the top five on January 14th. And from there, a one week online voting period will determine the winner for season five. Of course, we'll keep you posted on any developments here on Channel 2 and on WGRZ.com. Reporting in Fredonia, Lauren Hall, Channel 2 News.